Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. It is Josh here and today, well tonight, because uh, it come really late, just come about half hour ago, got a Tesco isolation grocery haul for you guys. So I spent about £120, but then with the substitutions and stuff that weren't available, spent about 110 I'm actually going to film this video a bit different to how I normally do my shopping videos. You're going to see my face and I'm just going to show one product at a time. Anyway, I am going to get started. Just wearing this uh, khaki green Timberland cap. I'm going to show you the meat-free products first. So this, the, I've had, I've not had this one. I've had the uh, meat-free tikka pieces in this brand before. The like meat gluten-free uh, kebab, the organic soy-based. Really, really, really good. Especially in a wrap full of salad, that's so good. Then, I've never ever tried this before and I'm really, really excited to. Um, I have had the salmon, um, obviously the plant-based salmon, that's not, I don't really like it if I'm honest, but the plant-based tuna in oil and herbs, real, it's got a real seafood taste apparently, 18 grams of protein, it's vegan, so I'm very, very excited to try this. If you don't like the oil and herb, they do have another two different flavours you can try. Then you can't beat a good old Linda uh, sausage. So classic, great vegetarian um, and vegan option. So the uh, vegetarian chorizo and red pepper sausages. They are really, really great um, vegan and vegetarian sausage. But probably Linda overall is one of my favourite um, meat-free ranges. But the Richmond um, meat-free has to be the best meat-free sausage out there. Honestly, like, they, you can actually taste no difference. Like, if you put this on a plate, you would actually think it had meat in it. It's such a good... Obviously, you don't want the taste of meat anyway, but if you um, if you still do like the taste of meat but don't actually want to eat it, then um, these are the ones for you, and they are so tasty. They're full of taste. I mean, I can just eat them after after one after one and I think they're really good so for two sausages normally sausages are really high in calories and fats 115 calories for two really really good and normally these are sold out and we don't actually get them so very very happy we got these and then these are new it was really weird because obviously you can um keep changing your shopping until a certain time so you can make amendments and I really, really want to try this. The barbecue cauliflower wing bites. They look so good. And when I went on there, they said they weren't available. And then I went back on the next day and they were available again. And then when I did the last amendment, it said they weren't. But then they come. Not that I'm complaining. I'm really, really excited to try them. They do look really, really good though. I do hope they got a really barbecue taste to them. So them, that's all their meat-free products, and then I'll move on to the home baking bits. So, can't believe it. Normally our eggs do get um, substituted, but we actually managed to get them. So we got three packs of the organic uh, mixed sizes, free range eggs. So, three of them. And then this, honestly, I have not seen one of these in absolutely ages. We had the Tesco... Um, brand in there that went out of stock then we had the mcdougall's one i've never had that flower before then um that got substituted to the home fried one honestly it's so hard to get flour these days so got one kilogram of the home fried self raisin flour and then we are going to make a peach crumble so got a packet of the tesco crumble topping and then to go with that, just got a custard. Then moving on to the meat products, not got much here at all. So just a packet of the Tesco Finest for British Beef Beef Pounders. Um, Mum actually ordered the British Beef Steak Pork Pounders, but they sent these ones instead. And finally, just a packet of the Six Pork Finest Sausages. So that's all the meat products. Then the dairy um, fresh bits. So honestly, I'm absolutely obsessed with creme fraiche at the moment with uh, spinach, 
so it's like a creamy spinach is really really good and I never knew how much I love creme fraiche it's so peng and the fact you can I have it over raspberries I have it as savoury and sweet so I normally get the own brand uh, of the supermarket but I tried the Yeo Valley one this time um, it's organic as well and it's supporting British family farms I'm really excited to try that on plus it is half the fat of a normal one then just picked up a uh, cream filled French brie. And then this has to be one of my favourite cheese um, brands ever, the Eat Lean one. They didn't have um, the biggest selection on there. The actual cheese block was sold out. And so I just managed to get the Eat Lean spreadable cheese. This is really good on toast or even put in some pasta. Really nice. And then finally for the dairy bits, um, just a Arla Cravendale um, milk. This is um, fresher for longer, so a two litre milk. Then moving on to the fruit and veg bits. So got some romaine parts, a um, cantaloupe melon. I don't know... Um, when you go and either do your shop yourself or if you get home delivery, um, if you're mailing, it's really, really hard to get. We keep not being able to get it. The only time we managed is when we did the Asda one where we got the mini packets, but we got it today. Then a bag of mixed leaf salad. Three mini bags of uh, tender steam. Broccoli. You get three for two up on there at the moment. Then one packet of closed cup mushrooms. They're on special on there at the moment. And finally, packet of one kilogram sweet potatoes. So that's all the fruit and veg bits done. Now we've moved on to the bread bits can't believe it normally these have been substituted but we actually managed to get them today they're new in there they are su suitable for vegetarians which is great perfect for kebabs uh four greek style flatbreads they're so soft honestly they do look really really good i mean i've got to put this stuff down quickly but they are so so soft and i cannot wait to get my teeth into one of these but i would suggest you give me a try because they're really nice and then just got a loaf of the sliced fruit loaf this is really good but if you can get the orange peel one it's even better but that went in stock and finally this is the best bread ever we love the sourdough bread only thing is um it doesn't have the greatest state on it but otherwise it's really really good with a poached egg avocado oh honestly it's so so good that's all the bread bits. Then moving on to the treat snacky bits. One bag of the uh, treat bag Maltesers. We love these in this house, the Marmite flatbreads. Then just some Cornish Jacobs wafers. Right, I ordered these because I wasn't aware on there that they're actually for um, babies. They're uh, all from seven plus months. These, um, I just saw on their apple rice cakes. I thought, like, do you know what, I'm gi I'll give them a go. So yeah, them. Uh, these are amazing, they really are. So two packs of the corn thins. Then finally, just some of the rice cakes. Um, Marmite, as you can tell, we do like Marmite in this house. Then the new, the new, the non-food products. I've been having uh, trouble, like, getting to sleep early. I keep going to sleep really, really late. So I thought I'd just give the Tesco um, Herbal Sleep Aid a go. Then I really, really needed some of this. The Sanix, um, Dermo Moisturising Bar Foam. Um... I, I don't know if you, I can really get in really, really dry skin. I think it's like eczema I'm growing. I'm not growing, I'm getting. So I thought, try a really sensitive bath foam and this one come up. So, and it's on special for £2.50 in there at the moment. So yeah. And just one packet of the Nurofen Melt Lips. Some packaging tape. 
And then finally, for the non uh, food products for us, just a packet of cat sticks. Then moving on to tins and jars now. Three jars of um, gherkins. I'm doing this video a bit different today. Then a um, Sackler uh, cook paste, the sun-dried tomato flavour, so basically like a sun-dried tomato pesto. The, these we bought to make our um, peach crumble, so two um, tins of the peaches. And finally, for the tins and jars, we got three uh, tins of chopped tomatoes. They're really, really good. Sometimes um, when you buy a jar of sauce, or we do like to make our own um, pasta sauces ourselves, and these are the best ingredients to use for it. Then move on to the freezer bit. Actually, one more non food item. Sorry, guys. Uh, just some um, Tesco wash nut gloves, one pack. Then two bits of freezer food, so just a frozen blackberries and frozen summer fruits. So I use these a lot um, to make my shakes up in the morning and um, the great thing about these is they last a lot longer than fresh ones and you can even leave them out overnight and you can put them on your porridge or something in the morning. Then finally moving on to the drinks. So just these uh, packet of six mini lemonades. So a crate of the Pepsi Maxes, 24. Two packs of um, orange juices. We was going to buy the Tropicana one, the um, carton, but sometimes it doesn't get drink and, drunk quick enough. So these are just the perfect size for the morning. Then two packs of their black current Capri Suns. They're on special for 99p at the moment for four. And then also two packs of the orange no added sugar Capri Suns. We also bought three packs of the two litre six bottles water. So we've got three packs so 18 bottles all together of two litre. That's the maximum you can buy on there. Then also I need to stop saying also my videos all the time. Uh, these have to be my favourite coffees ever. The um, Double Shot Espresso Starbucks ones. They're so good. They're on special at the moment for a pound. Normally they are like two pound for one. So I grabbed four of them and I really shouldn't have done it. But I've drank I've drank one, which is naughty drinking coffee this time of night. And then also, also again, and then got these um, Frappuccinos caramel ones. Got five of these so yeah that is everything which we purchased from tesco hope you have enjoyed this tesco isolation grocery haul don't forget to give the video a massive thumbs up also comment your favorite items of the video don't forget to subscribe to the my channel also i link my instagram and all my social media and below head over it's joshua for i love hope you all will keep you safe and well i'll see you really really soon guys in another video bye